I failed at being you, but I'm winning at being me. I'm winning at being free. Ain't no competition but me. See, I realize that I'm free, and I realize that I'm me. And I found out that I'm not alone, and there's plenty of people like me. That said it. Dun, 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 dun. What's good? I'm Jack, and I'm back with another bootleg figure review. And this time, I'll be doing the SH Figure Arts Batman Ninja Ninja Batman. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up sometimes. But what made me want this figure is because I like the, you know, Japanese aspect of Batman's design. He's a, he's a ninja version of Batman, basically. Actually, he's more like a samurai... A combination of a ninja and a samurai but I really I really like this design and I'll just admit Batman is not one of my favorite superheroes he's the least of my favorite but honestly I probably relate more to Batman because I am more of a loner type just like Batman so I don't understand why he's not one of my favorite favorite heroes maybe because he's just a normal regular human or I don't know he's just not one of my faves but I do like his design and as you can see this box looks pretty good especially for a bootleg here's the back side front other side top and bottom and so, without further ado, without further ado, let's get him out of the box. Now, I really like the Japanese samurai ninja aesthetic of this Batman. Like, I really love it. But as you can see, there's like a glue fingerprint. Hold up, let me get a better look. There's like a glued fingerprint on the front of his chest and the bat symbol has a bit of a paint mark missing let me further exam you know what I've seen reviews about this cape and I just really don't like it so I'm gonna take his head off and remove this cape this is so much better and this is how I will leave him for the rest of this review without that giant plastic uh, the cape is just so bad. But let's g look at him even further. There's a lot of like detail on this figure. Once again, I got to say this is a nicely detailed figure for a bootleg. Right, there are little, you can see little paint marks and scuffs right here. I already stated about the glue fingerprint right there and the missing spot on the bat symbol but otherwise this is highly decent well there's an extra red mark on the knee I don't know if my lighting makes it looks like it's two different shades of paint on this guy but I just probably have bad lighting look at those toes back of the figure when I first opened it this fell off I don't know if it's still yeah this is easy to come off but you can just stick it back in I may just have to super glue that on but other than that yeah this is a nice Batman figure. I really like it. Whoops. That's unexpected. Okay, now here he is all put back together. As you know, when you're dealing with bootlegs, you know, sometimes they just fall apart. But, now that we have that out of the way, let's look at his accessories. Here's his extra masked shouting face, and as you can see, it's it's a nice looking face. I'm probably not gonna use it because you know I'm not 
probably gonna try switching out this head because I know it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But as you can see, there's a lot of paint, bad airbrushing on the inside of that head. And uh, yeah, the scabbard for his sword, you can see little paint spots and splashes all over it. You know, it's, these kind of look like teeth marks. <laughs> It's probably just a bad casting job because it's a bootleg, but it's nice looking from afar. But once you get up close, you can tell, you can see all of the imperfections. Now we have his sword. It's a very like flimsy, cheap plastic. And then you can see all of the paint, all the nicks and stuff on the blade. Yeah, it's. It's a cool sword, it's just, you know, bad. It just has a, a lot of, you know, imperfection. But you can see the bat symbol on the cross guard of the sword. But yeah, that's cool. His bat kunai with the little bat symbols at the end of them. These are nice, you know. They're so small, you won't be able to tell if there's any imperfections on these at all. But I'm not going to deal with these because I'll probably lose them. A pair of relaxed looking open hands. A pair of gesturing, you know, martial arts pose type of hands. A pair of hands to hold the scabbard for his sword. A pair of hands to actually hold the sword itself. He already comes with one of his fisted hands. And this is the other one. And he has a relaxed hand for holding his sword. Well, two relaxed hands for holding his sword. And one of them already attached to him. That's kind of cool. There it is. Sword holding hand. And scabbard holding hand. I'm gonna try and switch them out. There he is with scabbard holding hand. And there he is holding his sword. I think I'm gonna leave him holding his sword for the rest of this review. Now we can go on and work on his articulation. All right, the head can look up that much. Looks down that much. The waist moves down that much, back that much, but it's gapping right there. A little bit of rotation at the diaphragm doesn't. Whoa, whoa! Just loosen that up. Uh, now you can see another paint imperfection, but yeah, now that that's loose. Whoa. Well, that happened. Arm. Goes up about that much. Elbow bends in that much. Bicep swivel. Ball hinge. Wrist. Arm goes up that much. Bicep swivel. Elbow bends in that much. Gotta get this back in. And hand gets a little bit of movement. Legs can kick up pretty. Well, that just happened. Kick up that much. Double joint knees. Kind of a thigh swivel and barely any ankle pivot and rotation and the toe hinge it's kind of stiff but it it works other leg can't kick up as much for some reason this leg moves a lot more than this one but it can kick back pretty far. Oh, that just happened again. 
double joint and knee, barely any ankle pivot and rotation, and the toe hinge is more in uninhibited than the other one. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends PS4 Spider-Man and my custom King of the Dead Black Panther. Storm Collectibles Ken. God of War 4 Kratos. SH Figuarts Tiger the Dark. And because I rarely show him, SH Figuarts War Greymon. DC Multiverse Tactical Suit Batman. DC Multiverse Justice League Flash. And last but not least, my bootleg Mayfix Justice League Flash. All in all, it's a pretty decent bootleg. I mean, I did have a couple of problems with it. This leg popped out. This skirt piece popped off. This popped off. So, I mean, it's not as bad as the Madara Uchiha. It, it didn't fall completely apart. I can't say I would recommend anybody buy this bootleg. I probably would have been better off just buying the actual figure. I mean, I kind of want the actual figure now. I mean, he does look cool. But, yeah. But that's what you get when you're dealing with bootlegs. Let me try and get him into a cool pose. But yeah, I think I'm just going to leave him like that. Anywho, yeah, i say it's about 50-50 on you can decide to buy the bootleg of him or not. You're better off just buying the official version. But it's up to you. Anywho, thank you for everyone who watched this video all the way through. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, it's been real.